Good day. My name's Richard Dusk. Uh, I'm part of the Dusk team, and I'm here with Carol Collier of uh, Mortgage Architects. She is uh, a mortgage broker. I'd like to ask you some of your experience and background, if you could. I've been a mortgage broker for over 35 years and been enjoying every moment of it. Wonderful. Great. We're here today to give you some insights into um, what uh, you should be looking for in mortgages and financing either as a new home buyer or as a uh, uh, buyer that uh, maybe is renegotiating a mortgage. The first area we're going to cover, the government has now implemented new mortgage rules. What was the most important changes to affect the home buyer? Well, the two most important one for home purchasing is the amortization now being 25 years versus the 30 that we had previously. And anybody who wants to buy a million dollar home has to have 20% down. So as long as you stay below the million dollar mark, you can buy with 5% down. Why did the government implement these changes? That's a good question. We all keep asking ourselves why they, they brought these changes in, but their story is that they don't want us to be like the U.S. and have the same housing crunch that they do. And we obviously have different rules than the Americans anyway, but um, they just want to make sure as Canadians we're safe and secure in our own homes. And that's really the only reason why that I know of. Okay. I, I'm going to phone Flaherty. I swear I'm going to phone him and ask him. Because <laughs> if you take a 40-year mortgage, uh, you said to me in the first five years, what was the percentage of mortgages that are, are refinanced or changed? Within two to three years, people start to refinance their properties, either by moving and or incorporating some of their debt to reduce their monthly payments into their mortgage. Okay, so even if they don't do that, in the first five years you're renewing your mortgage, you're looking at probably reducing the amount of time down to maybe 30 years or whatever because your income's gone, gone up, mm -hmm. uh, your standard of living's gone up. The value that you're paying out has actually decreased because of inflation, proportionate to your dollar you're making. It doesn't make sense to me. What you're doing is pushing all this back into 25 years and pushing that first time buyer who's capable of buying back out into the rental marketplace. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I really think that the government should be looking at looking at the credit card interest rates. That's 29% oh, okay. uh, on some of the credit cards. If they eliminated that and controlled that and let the housing continue on the way it is so we have a, a good strong market, I think that would be a better idea. How's this going to affect the short and long-term ability of potential homeowners and was this the right move on the government's part? right move on the government's part? I don't think so. Um, it does have a big impact on first-time home buyers more than anybody. It will have an impact on the, uh, the first-time home buyers with the 25-year amortization because it will limit what they qualify for. Minimum down payment is 5% and or a person can buy with cash back, the 5% cash back from a lender, but the interest rates are always the posted rate, which again will make them qualify for less. So if they have a good income, uh, of course, the lender's going to look at them and mm -hmm. figure that out. They can get into a house even at, what, 4 or something? 4.99 today. So so 5%, which is still a pretty darn good rate. I remember when I bought my first home, it was 22%. I remember those days very 22%. well. 22%. I mean, we still bought the home, and it still increased in value, and it still gave us equity. That's so right. So that was good. Mm -hmm. so, as an experienced mortgage broker, what kind of solutions can you offer people that are either first-time buyers or negotiating a mortgage? If you're a first-time home buyer um, and you're limited to what you can afford, you can always look at asking a parent maybe to go on title with you to help you qualify if they're willing to do that. Uh, the other thing is you might have to save more money, have more income, um, something along those lines that would help gear you to be more affordable and or get your debt under control because that's part of the ratios they look at when they're buying a, when you're looking at to qualify for a mortgage so that's also important as well so what we do is we do mortgage planning we help people with their credit we help them um, get everything streamlined and get like a coach kind of um, with sometimes it takes six months to a year to get them ready to purchase a home but wow. we, we do help them out that way how can people contact you to pursue their dream of home ownership couple of ways. Uh, you can call me at my office at 905-789-8198, extension 202, or go on my website, carolcaller.com, and you can reach me either way. Big question in my mind, especially when I was a homeowner the first time. I went to a bank. I never went to a mortgage broker, and people say to us when, when we're discussing uh, 
outside of the box of real estate, mortgages, etc., why we recommend mortgage brokers. Why is there a difference and how is there a difference between the bank and your own company? Well, the banks only have their own products to sell. As a mortgage broker, we have over 57 different lenders. So there's a niche for everyone out there that we can fit them into. And it's really important that you get the mortgage that suits you best. So we go the extra mile to make sure that we have a happy customer. Bonnie and I have been called up at the last moment on a closing of a house and it's five o'clock and they can't get hold of the bank clerk who's left for the day at four o'clock and hasn't completed the paperwork and yet a mortgage broker we've had in some cases working till 10, 11, 12 o'clock to make sure all the paperwork is going through with the lawyers. That's when they're successful, you're successful. So thank you. That's the two things and that's very, very critical. Thanks. So remember, um, our motto is list by dawn, sold by dusk. And yes, it does happen sometimes. Thanks. <laughs>